We're talking about coloring our hair, but one celebrity says changing her hair color has actually caused her hair to fall out. Actress January Jones told a British magazine that her hair is now falling out in clumps. Hmm. Jones is known for being a bit of a hair chameleon. She changes her hair color from blonde to red to black, even pink. At one point, she says she's gonna have to shave off her hair and wear a wig, at least until she can get it back in good condition. And joining us this morning on Good Day Orlando is hairstylist Aaron Mills and Florida Hospital dermatologist Dr. Tacey Rico. Thank you both for being with us this morning. Great to be here. All right, so uh, doctor, let's start with you. First of all, obviously our, our scalp is skin and it's sensitive just like any other part of our body. What are we doing to ourselves here? Well, there's a lot of things that can be going on. We're going off of, of course, her description rather than a physical exam necessarily. And, um, you know, her describing her hair falling out in clumps sounds like it's a type of hair loss that we call telogen effluvium. There's a lot of different reasons why that can happen. And one is that she can actually become allergic to the hair dyes themselves. Interesting. All right, so that brings me to you, Erin, to talk about the type of hair dyes we're using. Are there some products out there, maybe some more organic type products that might be safer and, and maybe cause us uh, less concern? Um, there are products out there that are better for the hair. Over the past 10 years, I believe that hair color in general has gotten better. However, different, you know, um, organic products, things like that, there are still an active ingredient that can irritate your hair if you're allergic to hair dye. Now that can develop when you're young or, you know, 20 years after doing hair. However, most people are going to be okay with the color that we have on the market today. Erin, what do you tell clients who want to change their hair color all the time? What do you sort of caution them with? Well, the first thing is some people don't understand the difference in, in going from one color to the next can be very extreme. It can really take a toll on your hair strand. So you need to think of doing your hair in steps. It's the best to keep the quality of your hair insured. And if there's something that you really want to change, go ahead and talk to your hairstylist first and don't plan on it becoming a one-time thing plan on taking about three times to the salon for it to really make that change. Dr. T Rico, how many patients do you actually see with problems like this that maybe even comes from hair dye as, as the cause? Well, it's hard to say how many that we see from hair dye necessarily. Um, sometimes it's hard to isolate what started the hair to fall out. But we do see a fair number of patients that are losing their hair in clumps. And it, like I said, it can be from a lot of different things. It can be from stress. It can be from medical causes. It can be from the hair dye. It can even be from straightening treatments as well. What kind of advice do you give your patients when they have this problem or treatment for it? Well, the first thing usually is to kind of cut everything out, you know, cut out um, all these kind of uh, the hair dyes, straightening, uh, cut out like as many of the styling products that they're using, go very, very bland on what they're using. And then uh, we start doing things to try and help the hair grow back. All right, these are scary thoughts for us ladies, so let's just hope it never happens to any of us. All right, Dr. Tacey Rico and Erin Mills, hairstylist, thank you both for being with us this morning. We appreciate your time. Thank you. All thank right. you.